the network for the AV industry. What are you listening to? This. This is AV. This. This. This is AV Nation. Nation. This is AV Nation. Hello and welcome to the AV App Show. I'm your host, Ryan Solo tonight, Philip Cordell, Director of Engineering over at M3 Technology Group, also known as your friend, Hi-Fi, the AV Professional. Tonight, I'm pretty excited, got a pretty cool app to show you. Uh, you know, it's not super duper often that I'm out in the field anymore. I hate to admit that, but it's true. Uh, but when I am, I like to have backup ways to control all the equipment, uh, if possible. And so tonight, I'm going to be looking at an app that uh, that's made by our friends over at Barco, and it's a you know it's a pretty happening app for their projectors uh, for projector control, and all you need is to be on the same network with your projector as you are with this app, and let's take a look see at what it looks like. Barco projector, that's the name of it. Pretty straightforward, right? Uh, and so for Right off the bat, I'll tell you what I like. As the host of an app show, I like that even though I don't currently have a Barco chassis sitting in front of me, they've gone ahead and loaded it with some demo projectors, some demo options, so that I can actually get a look at what the functionality would look like. So with that in mind, I'll start it out with this one at the bottom, the RLMW. And we'll just take a look. Basic control, what do we got? We got a lamp, we got power. That power, I'm gonna just, uh, just accidentally brush up against it no that's not going to work you must press longer to change the power state i appreciate that hit it hold it bada bing bada boom now if you want to manually um, image mute that projector by shutting that shutter we can do that very nice on screen display that osd text we got it uh, and then of course the active window main picture and picture source selection options there as well so that's uh you know just about everything you would expect out of basic control menu navigation Exactly what you'd expect, an up, a down, a left, a right, and an enter. Image settings, again, all the usual suspects. You got your brightness, saturation, contrast, sharpness, and phase. And that goes uh, in either direction of 100, so I'll take it. Lens control, got that lens shift. All my AV pros out there know what I'm talking about. Uh, in a large unit like this, uh, obviously you would expect lens shift, no big deal. In some of the smaller units, it's always a nice feature to have uh, because if one were to accidentally hang a projector not you know, exactly where it needs to go, completely uh, on axis, then this lens shift could, I guess, conceivably bail you out. I wouldn't know. I'm the AV Pro. Never done it. Uh, no, I'm kidding. I absolutely have done it, and lens shift has bailed me out, and I was grateful. Zoom. We can zoom not only in, but out as well. Mm, very nice. Focus in and out. Uh, again, everything you'd expect. Uh, test patterns, got a few of those. We got those color bars, got that cross hatch. Everybody loves it. Full screen, red, green, and blue. Got some burst, got some white, black. Uh, some more greens, blues, and ramp. Beautiful things. Information, all right, device status, power mode. Uh, so it'd be nice to know if it's in standard, eco, or what have you, and what both those lamps are doing. Beautiful stuff. And so that's that uh, RLMW. Now let's take a look at the, let's just say the top of the CLM model. Because I couldn't help but notice while perusing that some of the uh, settings were a little bit different. Now here you've got your on off, your shutter, your on screen display, source selection, menu navigation. Ooh, you got a keypad. Got an exit button. Love that. In addition to the inner up, down, left, right, and menu buttons. Image settings, same as before, pretty much same, same setup. Got that lens, shift, zoom, focus. Uh, test patterns, this is kind of nice, because you have them not only for the lens, but also for service. And just all kinds of great options there with PMP in and out, the formatter. Each of your inputs have their own set of white grill crosshatch. So uh, really some, some pretty robust test patterns on board uh, with this unit, which is nice. So if you, you don't necessarily have a video test generator, a BTG, 
uh, with you. You know, you don't need it with, with one of these projectors, and that's a beautiful thing. So that's uh, pretty much what it looks like. You know, you can add some favorites there. If you, maybe if you've got multiple units on the same network. Uh, and again, there are four different units here. And, and all of them, you know, the, the basic control all pretty much starts to, to look alike. And that's just fine. That's kind of what I would expect. Uh, you know, and then some of them have got lens only test patterns. Some have got lens and service test patterns. And, and that's a, a beautiful thing as well. So the Barco projector control app, that's it. We were looking at it. Uh, that's what it does. I mean, it does what it says it does. Uh, and that's what I would hope for. Uh, now I can say, again, it's handy to be able to have this type of functionality. I know if I'm using a control system perhaps and maybe controlling my projector via TCP IP protocol, you know, something like that, then maybe it'd already be on the network and the app could just step right in and and help out when needed. Uh, what I will say about this app is that unfortunately uh, it looks a little outdated. I mean it looks old, old, old school. I'm talking all the way back to maybe 2013. Yeah, it looks that old. Uh, which of course is not really that long ago. But in the app world, you know, what, what looks good uh, this year, for whatever reason, design seems to evolve pretty quickly uh, on apps. And so what's, what's hot this year might not be next year. And so uh, with all those items in mind, taking all those things into consideration, we're going to go with, uh, with lamp, uh, projector lamps, these bulbs, these heavy-duty bulbs. Some of their projectors, I believe, take uh, two. Some probably take four uh, bulbs. And so my ranking on a scale of one to four bulbs is probably, uh, you know, going to shake out somewhere between three and a half and four bulbs. And actually, if you're doing the math, that would be 3.75 bulbs. Exactly. So that's what it's going to get. It's going to get a solid three and three quarter projector bulbs out of a potential of five. Uh, you know, it's, it's something that I think if I'm hanging a Barco, I'd absolutely uh, consider using. Uh, but it's not a, you know absolute necessity either. Uh, and once they step that style game up, uh, that, that bulb rating could, uh, could step up a bit as well. So we'll see. We'll see what happens there. Uh, thank you so, so much for joining me riding solo tonight on the AV app show. You can find me on my website, theavprofessional.com. Find me on YouTube, youtube.com backslash high fidelity, H-I-P-H-I-D-E-L-I-T-Y, where you will find only the finest AV rap videos uh, from what is pretty much the number one AV rapper in the world. That's me. Uh, you know, it's all about finding that white space, really exploring that space where there's no competition. Uh, and then, of course, you can find me on Twitter at the underscore AV underscore pro. Uh, I'd love for you to follow me. Perhaps I'll follow you. We'll have a conversation. It'll be great. And, of course, you can find this show as well as many, many other fantastic shows about the AV industry here at avnation.tv. So for all the haps on the apps, we'll see you next time on the AV app show. Uh. the network for the AV industry. What are you listening to? This. This is AV. This. This. This is, is AV, AV Nation. Nation. This is AV Nation.